So everybody, welcome to the video. This is the River Severn estuary in the United Kingdom. As you can see on the video here, the tide is right out. Um, the tide is extremely low when it is low here. We're going to look at the river today in low tide and then further along in the video, it will be high tide. And oh my God, the difference is scary. So do not miss high tide in this video. It is phenomenal. Now, many, many people have lost their lives here. Many, many people have gone missing here, never to be seen again. So we had a good look around and we tried to show everybody the difference in the tide here and how low the water was compared to the high tide day. And I know that's obvious to most people. However, there's almost a 14 metre difference in water level change here. That is a lot of water. Um, when the tide was low, the water was extremely far away and low down. Um, you could really see the difference. And then when we came back on the other day for the high tide, again, it was like a different place. Uh, so stay tuned for that. We have a little search around the area as well. Some beautiful places, some very spooky, dodgy looking places here. A uh, beautiful part of the country. And this mud, guys, it looks like you can walk over here right where we are now. Uh, yeah, do not do that. You will sink straight away. Um, this rock formation here, where I'm standing right there, um, you can see now how low the water is, right? Now, when it's high tide, those rocks are covered. You can really see the difference there in how high those rocks are compared to how low down the water is. And as I say, this mud is definitely, definitely very dangerous because right down there, you can't be seen by anybody. Right down by the water's edge at low tide. If you get stuck, no one's going to see you. And the water comes in at a phenomenal rate, believe me. So stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. So everybody, the river here is extremely deep, as I'm sure you've got a good idea of from the video so far, and this is low tide. The river will become 14 metres deeper and phenomenally wider. Honestly, like those concrete blocks right there are going to be completely submerged. Um, I was not expecting it to be as dramatic as it is. So stay tuned for high tide. It's coming up real soon. Uh, for now, we have a little look around the area. 
We have a little look down the mud plains. Uh, we have a little cool look at the lighthouse as well. There's a lighthouse to the back of me right there, which again is almost submerged in high tide, but then in low tide, there's a massive island around it uh, and almost like a steep mountain up to the lighthouse. You know, you look at it and you can't imagine water submerging everything. That is until you see it. And when you see it, it's like, wow, that's shocking. Stay tuned, everybody. So guys, the tide here is right in at the moment, as you can see. We came back at a different day. Uh, it's absolutely pouring with rain, as you can see. Um, yeah, the tide here is right in, and what a difference it's made. So it's gone from being 0 0.5, three quarters of a metre, apparently up to 12 and a half metres. And that's within four to five hours, that is. Um, but as you can see, the water is literally level with where we are. And last time we came here, the water was right down deep. And it was very hard to, uh, to show on the camera how far away the water actually was. But the water was honestly far, far down in terms of depth away from where we were. Um, so, we're going to go down and have a look at the water in a minute. But as you can see, what a difference it's made. Literally, all that land is now covered up, which I know is normal for a tide coming in. We're not trying to say it's an abnormal thing here. What we are saying is the amount of depth change in that tide is phenomenal, especially in such a short space of time. If you were down there, and you weren't, you weren't aware of the tide and how, how dangerous it is here. You could easily get stuck in the mud down there, out of view. And now that's under 12 metres of water, let alone the middle. Obviously the middle is deep anyway, without the tide even being in. So guys, we're gonna check out the water now uh, and see where we're going from there.
So guys, as you can see, I've just shown you, the tide is actually now starting to turn on its way back out and already it's dropped a fair bit already, maybe a metre in the space of about 15 minutes. You can see behind me there, you can see the water actually pulling back out hard over the rocks. Uh, and that lighthouse back there is now more visible. The rocks beneath it are uh, more exposed. So this is a very, very powerful tidal river here. Uh, it just goes to show that rivers like the river wire, etc., that are tidal, do have these factors to take into consideration and they are very, very powerful. Uh, obviously here is an extreme, but the river wire and other such rivers will be very similar except further downstream would be more dramatic.